Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A huge shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. If you want to become a Patreon or YouTube member to support the channel or even play with me on my server, click the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Darkest Falls mod. So, we are about to face the day 98 horde. Yep, you heard me right. That means I spent a whole week in game uh, just mining. I completed one of the mines or one of the tunnels from our base to one of the Caitlins. Uh, but only half of it, just enough so we can actually walk or drive there. But we do bump our heads every now and then. And yeah, I started mining at the one Caitlin. Although it was a half burnt forest and half wasteland. So I couldn't really get a ton done. So, insane difficulty. Nightmare speed. 32 spawn. Let's do this. But yeah, uh, basically at the one Caitlin, I tried mining. And all of a sudden, I realized, oh wow, I'm getting a ton of uh, coal. And I couldn't understand why until I checked the map and I was like, oh, okay, I'm still half in the burnt biome. So I dug layers down every like 10 or so blocks or 6 or so blocks. I dug too wide all the way as far as I can just to see if I could hit some uh, titanium. And then oh, when we hit the one POI that we did last time, very close to the Caitlyn, um, you know the one where the zombies came out the parking lot from a secret hidden cellar? When I went that direction... I hit some titanium and I really, I, I started mining a ton. There's still a ton of titanium there. Although I decided, you know what? Let me just grab my orca, go do, make that one tunnel. And guys, on the way to that Caitlin, we passed so much titanium. Um, I'm not going to be mining it though, although later game we might be able to do that. Um, because now we know where it is. As long as we have a road to drive on, we can still mine all that stuff out because the road will still be there. But that's going to take a lot more time. And I, I've actually seen a lot of comments of you guys saying that I need to keep the mining in. Now, I think the only way to do that is to, at one stage, do a stream on Darkest Falls. Uh, like a real, like, 12-hour whatever stream. And then just mine as much as possible, talk with you guys. But just know that stream is going to get a ton of dislikes. Because generally, a lot of people don't like seeing me mine. Some do. But it's actually a very small percentage, a percentage of people that actually want to see me upgrade and mine and stuff. Usually I just cut that out. Um, I've tried speeding it up in videos. People don't like that. I've tried speeding it up when putting music on. People don't like that. And I get copyright claims. So yeah, um, we'll see what we can do with that one. Uh, because I do still need to make the one tunnel. Although I don't know if I'm going to have to make that tunnel or not. Because at the moment, the, the Caitlin to our left, closest to us, you can just take the road there. The one to the right is through mountains and stuff. That's the one whose tunnel I already made. So there's a, like 20 in No, 40. Yeah, almost 40 in-game minutes left before this horde starts. Uh, although I don't know how much it's going to be as soon as we enter the game. So I want to show you guys exactly how much resources we got. And I think I've made like 407 titanium blocks with all the titanium I got. But we still have titanium left. So that's awesome. After putting in those... Like oh, and also laser tech. I now have a level 80... Uh, block laser rifle and a level 80 laser pistol so that's awesome i just made a ton of those unfortunately the levels are still like 61 or 51 when i craft them but as soon as we have completionist which is really really soon we'll be able to craft level 71 laser tech apparently guys i don't know this but the future is now book the red one if you read it you can actually get those points you know how we have to spend seven points to get level five which i already did Apparently, reading a book gives you those levels. You don't have to spend points, and I never knew that. I think a few alphas ago, I tried that, and it didn't work. So that must be a new thing if it actually does work that way. And now it's too late to test. So I think in my next series, I'll make two Futures Now books, read them, and see if it works or not. Okay, yeah, uh, it's still 40 in-game minutes left. Let me just make sure the frame rate is stable. So basically, as you guys can see over here... We have 407 titanium blocks. Uh, this is the only titanium we have left because I had to repair my titanium pick and my auger a ton. So we only have four repair kits left. Resources over here. Uh, we still have a little bit of titanium left because this I got after making those blocks. And stone. Stone. Uh, oh, no, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ooh. And more, uh, a little bit more stone and stuff over here. I am making a ton of concrete mix on these. On each of these, I think this one's making sand. And then these are making cement all the way through to yeah, I think. Yeah, so we are busy making a ton of resources. Remember, we still have to put this roof in over here. But for now, since we haven't prepared our old base, or pre we're not prepared for this ward at all, we're just going to go to this junkyard over here. So over here, I have to really clear it out. I just hope the zombies haven't respawned. But ba guys, basically, this over here, this tunnel, leads about 20 blocks down and then all the way 
from here, it just goes straight, straight, straight to there and then turns to the Caitlyn. But after the Horde, we'll show you guys that for now, we just need to get to safety. Because we are going to be spending the night on the roof. And now, not too many zombies should be able to make it to us. Because I did go and remove all the stairs. So, for example, over here, there's no stairs. And on this side, there's no stairs. So, technically, none of the zombies should be able to get to us except the succubi demons. And this time, the only re thing I need to do is just make sure that we see any vultures, see any succubi, and kill them. Other than that, if it doesn't... You know, I might cut it out, like the fighting of the horde. Or I might just stand on top of here and try and kill them. But technically, what I can do right now... Let me just do this. And stand right here. And face them right here. The only problem is... We are visible from all over. Um, especially the demonic zombies like these over here. They're going to be vomiting at us. So we don't want too many explosions hitting us. Just look at this. Yep, they're standing right there trying to vomit. Ooh. And if those rockets just get close to us, we do get set alight. So we need to be very, very careful. Oh, demonic behemoth right off the bat. I need them all to come over here so I can uh, kill them. I wonder if I can kill him without them vomiting at me. Nope, the AOE damage is going to kill me before he kills me. Ooh, there's an incubus right underneath us. I just need to keep moving. Oh, wow, he can jump up. I did not take account for that. Oh, no, 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 what the hell is this? They don't think they'd be able to stand on each other so easily. Reload, 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 reload. Where is he, where is he, where is he? Guys, this is taking me by surprise. The fact that they can just do that. Stand on each other's heads and they're right here. Nice, he died. Yeah, we need to be careful of all the water. Let me just move away from here. We need to be careful of uh, the water we're losing right now because of all the damage. Hello. They're going to do it again. They're going to stand on top of each other's heads over here. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over here. Get over here. But yeah, now we have the laser pistol over here, level 80. The laser rifle over here, level 80. So now it's going to be fun. I wonder if I can kill all these guys just like this. I could use the laser rifle and laser pistol. Ooh. The problem is the amount of damage they do before I'm even okay. But yeah, that guy might be able to jump on the edge really fast. I wonder if I can lure them this way. If I can lure them this way, I'll be able to fight them one at a time. I need to be careful that they're not up here. Nope, they're coming through. We need to watch out for the AoE damage so they don't actually knock us off of here. But yeah, now we have laser rifle. This doesn't do as much damage as you think. But it does stop the healing nicely. Reload, 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 reload. Ooh. They're giving each other a leg up. Nice. Technically, I wanted to kill him just now. If we could actually manage to kill him, he'd actually set off his friends. Hello. Make sure I kill these. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. The male fire right here. Oh, crap. Ooh. Oh, that was close. I almost fell off. I'm going to do is this quickly. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. That was bad. That was way too close for comfort. Damn. Okay, some of them are dying. I actually really want to drink this. But I think it's going to be a waste if I drink that right now. Hello, lady. I wonder if they're running from afar. Can I hit them with a laser rifle? Without having to worry too much or not. I don't want them hitting me from the sides of it. I need to be careful. And also, we need to watch out for any succubi from on top. Rocket launcher to the faces. Again, 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 again. We need to be careful of any cops down there. We don't want to get a cop explosion to the face. The nice thing is, if we just stand like this, we should be able to kill as many as them as possible. Get some headshots, make sure they don't surprise us from the sides of here. Okay, now let's move, let's move, let's move. Water is extremely low. And first succubus. For those of you who don't know, this is a succubus. This is one of the flying demon bosses. 
But I grabbed my ace. Where's my other gun? Uh, where's my M60? You need to be careful of the floor caving in over here. No, 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 where was my M60? Where's my M60? Uh, there's a coil. M60 is over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to be able to face them. And the M60 is going to do the most damage against them. No more succubi, right? The only reason I knew she was there is because of the flames above my head. Hello? I could easily go loot there just now. I want to see this. Hello. Oh, they didn't re <laughs> really a ton of damage just now. Wait, what was that? Is there a succubus above me or something? It really does feel like someone's uh, right above me right over here. Yeah, we need to hit them with laser tech and then like with an M60 or something. We do some serious damage. Okay, we need to make sure we kill as many of them as possible. The only way to do that is make sure we kill one at a time. We need to also watch out for any more behemoths and demons and stuff. The behemoths are only threat right now, um, the buff one especially. Okay, now where are you guys? I can't see you. At least our healing is actually keeping up. But our water is not. I forgot to put some proper water on me. We have enough water to put out the fire, but enough to replenish the water. I could technically go stand right there with them and lure them to me. But then I'm going to get hit by so much fire, it's not going to be funny. Oh wow, what the hell? That was a ton of damage just now. That XP, thank you. You need to be careful of the amount of block damage the vomit does. It does, actually does a quite a surprising amount of damage. Oh, hello, hello. I don't want to fall in on the heads. Also, guys, like I said, I already spent a little, uh, 5 out of 5 points in the laser class over here, the future class. Uh, technology crafting over here. Now, I already have the rechargeable mods on this gun and this gun. So, if we use our laser tech, we have a small chance to get our ammo back, which is awesome. Okay, what I want to do, though... I want to see if I can lure these zombies. Oh, there's a behemoth. I want to see if I can trick them over here. I'm going to do this. I want to hit them with some laser tech before we set these off. Okay, now we hit them with some laser tech. Come on, come over here. Please, this side. Don't waste my ammo and stuff right now. Okay, we do this. And then we do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh, nice. Nice, look at the flying demons. <laughs> yeah, I need to be careful though, that almost hit me. There are so many behemoths down there, it's insane. The nice thing is you can do some serious damage to them if you can actually hit them from the side. You can even throw a grenade or two down here and have them all stand underneath me. Let's try this. See, the thing is, we should be able to hit them with a rocket without doing the laser tech, but they will heal if you don't do enough of these. Okay, will this work? Will this work? I should actually drink the XP elixir before doing stuff like that. Oh wow, hello, hello. Oh wow, how did you get up here? You need to be careful of all these sneaky zombies. They know exactly how to get to me right now. That was kind of scary. Oh, there's another succubus. Hello. He's the only one that can really see me right now, so let's just quickly focus on her. Uh, do this. Get the M60. As you guys can see, I have the advanced mag on here. So I have 120 shots before I have to reload. And 120 is just enough to actually kill them quickly. Oh wow, is she healing? Okay, now I hit her, right? But technically, she's not supposed to heal until I'm done. Thank you. She just did way too much damage for my liking. I think I should fight the, the succubi demons up here. It'll give me time to also just quickly collect myself. That was unfortunate just now. Damn. Okay, we do have some of this stuff at least, which is going to be awesome. Um, we do have a few cryo grenades to slow them down. 
I wonder if I shouldn't play around with this a little bit. Let's just put the quill rifle away for now. Quill pistol. We'll do it again where we do that one whole trick. And then I want to drink the XP elixir before we do anything. So now, let's see if I can actually do this right. Hello. So they see me from the angle before I start, even start doing anything. Uh, XP elixir. Come on, XP elixir, thank you. Okay, I need a rocket launcher right now. Ooh, that did a ton of damage just now. And it slowed a ton of them down, I think. Come on, I need those gyrocopter accessories. Hello, hello, hello. My demon friends. I need to make sure I kill one at a time so they don't start healing. That's a tough part right now. I need to also watch out for zombies from the back. Especially behemoths, because they make it up here without me realizing I'm screwed. Oh no, wow, that was a mistake. I thought it was my water, but it's a rocket. Yeah, I just wasted like one frag, right? Yeah, oh, hello? Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Okay, yeah, so we need to get up there to face her quickly. Okay, we're just gonna do this, quickly do that. Make sure you're actually taking damage this time. Last time the other one was healing herself before I could do, any do anything. Whoa, okay, there's holes in the roof of the... Uh oh, wow. What the... F Whoa! Was it because I was on a fire promo? What the hell just happened? She, she set me a light just now. And then she managed to kill me instantly. I tried to move out of the way, but I was stun locked. I'm not supposed to be able to get stunned with my full thing like that. Okay, now zombies are going to see me and they are going to respawn, so I need to be careful. There's still two in-game hours left, so any zombie that sees me right now is going to call another zombie. Let's see if I can get over there without anything spotting me right now. I just need to get uh, get the attention of one zombie. Ooh. I did a ton of damage over here. I just need to get the attention of one wandering zombie and the horde will continue. But that was... Did she die? So it was a mutual destruction just now. We both killed each other. <laughs> That's actually funny if you think about it. Oh, now, how the hell do I get the attention of more? Hello? I know there was a zombie out here wandering around. I just need one zombie to see me right now and then the horde will continue. Let me just quickly do this while we're out and about. Literally just one random zombie needs to see me right now. Da, 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 da. I don't want to get too far away because if I run out of stamina and I can't get back to my defense, that's kind of going to suck. Okay, let's just get a zombie from over here. There should be a zombie spawning in. Yep, the whole horde just spawned back in and there's a behemoth. Oh crap, there's a dog behind me. Oh no, 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 don't get stunned. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get caught. Ooh. Ooh, I made it in time. Nice. See, but just because one zombie saw me, like literally just one zombie, the horde keeps going and another succubus. Okay, this time. Don't get set of lights, and if you do, John, move. Oh no, two sucky. Oh, this might be bad. Three sucky by. Oh, I might have to run. Run, 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 run. I don't know which one I just hit with a laser tech. It's actually kind of bullshit. Too many, too many, too many, too many. Oh, wow. Am I going to have to go back to my horde base? These three are too fast. Okay, uh, water, set you out. I want to see if I can actually hit them with one of these grenades. Cryo grenade. Okay, now I should be able to hit her easily. Okay, one down. I need to watch out for all these holes now. Ooh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, so now, um, M60, are you reloaded? Yes. Guys, we have to watch out for all these holes they're making. Their breath is so powerful, they could vomit underneath me and accidentally hit me. Not accidentally, they're actually trying to make me fall in. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This proves that even though they suck you by, they are not weak. Apparently only the Incubus Demon is um, armored, but you couldn't tell me that they weren't armored just now. I definitely hit the other one a few times with laser tech and she kept healing herself somehow. That kind of is bullshit. Guys, there's bags all over. I need to get the, all these bags. She needed to keep him just in case I die again. I can start up the ward anytime I'd like. Okay, now. No more succubi, right? Let's just see if we can get a few of you. Hello. Oh, clever. You guys are trying to stay on each other. I just need to watch my HP. As soon as I see it goes down a little bit too much, I need to move back. Oh, well. An error just now. That messed up. I definitely just got an error in the middle of that fight, so that behemoth could have hit me easily. Is it me or is the M60 just not doing enough damage? I know there's a mod missing on it, but damn. It feels like the the uh, SMG uh, does more power, uh, more damage than the M60. It's not supposed to be that way. I just need to jump every now and then. Especially since the zombies keep going for my legs. If I keep jumping, there's more chance that they actually miss me. See, they're actually missing me. <laughs> but if I fall right now, I'm screwed. Oops, jump, 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 jump. Oh, wow. how the hell did you hit me from all the way over there? Okay, so we need to slow them down enough. A few of these. I don't know if that's a mutated Night Stalker or, or just normal Night Stalker, or if that's a demon talking. Okay, so come this side. And boom. Oh, wow, what the hell? when that happens. Sometimes a, a rocket just goes straight through the world and we just wasted a rocket. These aren't even armor piercing but they're doing more damage than the M60. I think I just killed another dog. Uh, John keep an eye out on your HP please. Also I can't afford to fall through one of these holes because that's gonna be bad. It's almost four o'clock right? Yes. Thank you. Ooh. Oh no 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 no. Oh crap, I need to kill her, but I need to get to a safe spot first. Oh, hello there, lady. Okay, and M60 at the ready. Oh no. SMG at the ready. Reload, reload, reload. This thing reloads so damn fast, it's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I need to be so careful right now. I'm gonna drop a few things in the bag or on my bike or something, but I can't. But let's just see if one at, one at a time can come over here. You need to focus on one zombie at a time right now. Where are you? Come on, don't heal. Please don't heal. Wait, what the hell just hit me? I need to make sure there's no more succubi and incubiers over here. Oh, wow. The amount of zombies down there is insane. Oh, wow. They actually killed him. How low is his HP just now? You guys, if I can slow them down, all of them at the same time, might be able to use some laser tech. Let's do this. So they don't heal themselves back up. And then... I'm using all my rockets and stuff right now. I should actually use my guns. I'm using armor piercing rounds, so these should be really powerful. But I think they was holding me back. Ooh, now they're gonna come up here. They just created a space for themselves. Ooh, the amount of block damage. Okay, move, reload. Guys, the amount of bags of here is insane. I don't know if I like the base more or if I, or if I like this approach more. This is fun, although my stamina and wellness and everything drop by like 30 during this horde. The more you get hit, the more you drop. I need to actually slow them down a bit by, with the grenades. If I can just kill all the demons. The one's vomiting at me right now. 
No one else from outside is coming. Oops, I apologize if you heard the alarm in the background. I didn't even realize it was going off. No! Damn you! Did she just spawn? Yep, she just spawned one of those. Wait, does this have a silencer on? It's supposed to, right? Yes, it does. Now I think you'd be careful. Oh, two of these. No. But I need to hit him as well before he regens completely. And now I can't see their heads. That is brilliant. Come on, hit one at a time. Stand back just enough to see their heads. Uh, I need to hit them with laser tech again quickly. And 60 time. I need to make sure I kill them before they start healing themselves. Oh, reload, reload, reload. Okay, reload, reload. Please, please, thank you. Okay, now. Big boy hit. Where's the other one? Doesn't sound like the other one's gonna regen all the way. 60 H 60k HP is a lot. Oh, hello. Oh no, there's another screamer. I need to kill her before I kill these. Oh no, 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 what the hell just happened? I was focusing too much on that side and then this happened just now. Okay, so hopefully the screamer doesn't see me all too easily right now. Oh crap. Out of... I'm piercing rounds. Okay, I need to kill one zombie at a time right now. Be careful, that screamer is not allowed to see me right now. This horde is continuing way longer than I thought just because of that screamer. Yeah, she's over there. Um, laser tech. Thank you. Okay, so now at least I don't have to worry about that one. What I do need to worry about right now is the other mutated. Wait, 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 come on. Where's that other behemoth? There was another one, right? Where's that other behemoth? There was definitely two behemoths over here. I don't know if the other one started regening already or not. I need to make sure another screamer doesn't see me right now because there's too much damage going on over here. Okay. It seemed to despawn, which is going to be awesome for me. I just need to put this down and start looting. I'm going to drop most of my ammo quickly just so we make some space. Uh, do this. You know what? Yeah, let's just drop all the M60 ammo and all the coil ammo right now. We can keep some of the 7.62 ammo and the rest over here. It does make it really hard to decide what to keep, what to drop. Come on. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where is she? I need to make sure I get this headshot, otherwise... Oh, nice. That wouldn't actually be through the blocks. Okay, so we only have a little bit of time to quickly loot over here. The nice thing is there are a ton of containers in the area, so we just have to drop them in one of these containers. It's funny how a building like this could be more of a challenge. Well, it, it makes sense. I mean, it's not a horde base and prepared a horde for. But it's so much fun, actually, uh, not knowing whether you're going to die or survive. I mean, if I just moved out of the wave sooner and drank some water... That one zombie would definitely not have killed me. The uh, succubus. But it was a mutual destruction just now because I died and she died, so we killed each other. You know, I should probably just also go and. Please don't scrap your own stuff, Jean. Imagine accidentally scrapping my titanium crossbow or something like that. The only problem now is the fact that this is not my base. I, don't, I didn't have a drop box for all my looting gear. I could have just dropped everything there and then started looting. I don't have that right now. Okay, we want to make sure we scrap all the melee tools and all the schematics for now. We are going to need the bike again. Hopefully we have a few things that stack. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put it in a box. But the only problem is, if a zombie comes by right now... I thought it was a zombie. If a zombie comes by right now, it's going to perhaps destroy that box. Ooh! I just get a laser multi-tool. And if it destroys the box, we have a massive, massive problem on our hands because then we lose loot. 
That is awesome. That's my first laser multi-tool I think that I got off a zombie. Usually I get them all from like the trader or buying or making or something. I think there's still some loot that I'm missing right now. Uh, let's see. Can he dump stuff? Not really. Okay. Can we scrap these? We don't need these right now. So I'm just going to do that and drop a few important things. Uh, no, that's not important. What can I drop? Engines we definitely keep. Schematics. Oh, man. There's so much stuff that I'm scrapping right now. It's not leaving space for a lot. I could just sort my inventory. Like, press the sort button and then drop stuff that I don't need. Or, like I said, there's drop boxes right here. Containers we can use to drop our loot. That just now was not necessary. I don't need blood draw kits. Okay, so we need to be careful. We need to make sure we've looted everything just now. We don't want to lose out on any loot because just now there's some awesome stuff in there. Um, let's do that. And remember guys, I don't keep the dyes at the moment because there is no point. We already made everything we need. Although, if I make more future tech... Well, now it's too late. If I wanted to experiment with that future tech thing where it actually gives you the levels... Basically, for those of you who don't understand, uh, you have a red book that you have to make to unlock this class. Uh, th that's this class's uh, class book. Apparently, reading more of them fills this in for you, and I never knew that. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's true or not. I still have to test it myself, but that would be awesome. You know, I think we got all the looter over here. We looted all the bags on this side when we went searching for zombies. And yeah, there's nothing else on the roof, right? With all these succubi. Look at all the holes over here. This only works once, guys. Because this building is not going to sta uh, stand another attack. The bottom of here. How much damage did they actually do? There's no walls left. So this would cave in really, really early. And then all they have to do is start breaking out these walls. And you're screwed. So we are going to have to have either our base repaired. Or a new base ready before the next wall. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys that tunnel I made. But first I have to go drop a few things off at the base. Cannot show you guys with a full inventory. Also, I want to start looting all the pure eyes in this vicinity. Like, that one we just saw over there, that has to have, like, a secret layer or something, right? That looks kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever looted one of its kind. But yeah, I want to show you guys this uh, road over here, and I'm going to leave it unedited so you can see how long it is and how much time it took. First, you know, let's just first stand underneath the ladder over here. When you dump a ton of stuff, and this is going to be the only way. I put a hatch in, and I put some ladders, uh, another ladder in there so the zombies can't see me. Although, very few zombies really saw me from the bottom, which is kind of weird. Okay, we're going to keep this one. Ward guns for now will drop. Um, I do want to keep all my, all these guns I want to keep on me. Um, this is nice for close range, but also you don't want to waste ammo, so this one's nice as well. Although, is it really necessary for the pistol if you have the rifle? The rifle does 209 damage. This one does just a little bit less. Magazine size 50, magazine size 50. Rounds per minute, 172. Uh, rounds per minute, way more, obviously. But I still think that rifles are all round better ones to use. So for now, to not use too much ammo and to have some space in our inventory, let's just do this. I do need to make sure we sort all our stuff and also repair all our stuff. Because we just lost a ton of quality on these guns. Do I have enough guns? Where's the rest of... Oh, on my bike. Okay, I'm just going to do some inventory sorting, guys. Dropping everything we don't need. And I'll see you guys right now. Okay. I think that's about it. We dropped most of the stuff that we needed to drop. Uh, 12, 13, 14. The nice thing is we got an M60 receiver, which I actually needed. Because I have no way to actually repair my M60 at the moment. I could have sworn we had more, MC, uh, more SMGs over here. I need to repair this, but I could have sworn we had more. I grabbed everything off the bike just now, so there shouldn't be anything there. I dropped it in the wrong box or something. Our shovel is here, but we have the auger. Technically, I can swap these out now because we have the auger. Or rather, we don't need the auger right now. So that's 14 slots I need to lock. I'm just going to quickly check at the ward base, guys, because I have the feeling we still have SMG somewhere. Um, I want to be able to repair this quickly. Uh, because my SMG is actually really, really low at the moment. If we come across something that really needs a, a little bit of damage per second... Although, like you just saw, the M60 didn't really do that much damage to the sword. So what I'm actually considering doing is swapping it out. Using the M60 on Horde Knights, uh, because you needed way more damage per second. And then the SMG... Uh, SMG during Horde Knights and uh, M60 during looting. I can't believe I just got confused between those two. Okay, so I'm going to make sure there's nothing over here. But I think I took everything over. So where's all my SMGs? I could have sworn we had more. That kind of sucks. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this tunnel, uh, tunnel quickly. Unfortunately, we don't have an entrance yet. Come on. I still need to put a floor in over here if we're gonna use this as a horde base. I still have no idea. If, I just wanna make one from scratch because we do have titanium now. What I'm gonna do? What I can do is make the floor so long, and then when we ha when we have time uh, and it's dry, we can make that steel and then put another floor on, make that steel and put titanium on top. Yeah, like I said, guys, this doesn't have a proper entrance yet, so we're using frames. As you can see, we just went through some, uh, some plutonium. And then we stand here in the corner, place the bike down. You'll see how we're going to cruise over here. See, it's only too high. That's what I meant by it's not deep enough. It needs to actually be like one layer or two layers deeper. Now I'm going to show you guys the amount of resources. There's more titanium over here, a ton of titanium. Uh, this side is more plutonium. More plutonium. We're going to hit a uranium mine as well now. Uh, that was titanium to the left. This is uranium. Ooh, but you hit your head every time. I actually damaged myself so badly last time. This is the thing I need to fix, guys, especially. This roof is so narrow, my bike can't speed up this. It's like it goes up a hill or something and just... Brr, 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 brr. I need to pick up the bike there. More plutonium and then uranium over here. Titanium over there. Plutonium. Plutonium. As you guys can see, there's a ton of resources. We're going to have to turn soon. That was more plutonium. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn over here soon. Let's just turn the light on so I can see. As you guys can see, everything's spawning in very slowly. But we are passing so many mines right now. I should have grabbed some stuff we can sell at the trader. Because I, I want to just show you guys now where this tunnel comes out. I should have grabbed some stuff from the uh, base to sell over here. But yeah, basically you come out in the mine over here. Remember we had a mine over here going. We already dug out all the titanium. Now, the only problem is we need to put, like, ladders and stuff here so it's easier to reach the top. Instead of having to jump like this and perhaps missing. The trader's up here. Boom. So, that's not that hard to reach this place, but it's still a mission. Um, now, for those of you wondering why I did this tunnel, all these hills on the way. Especially at nighttime, these hills, you get stuck with your bike. This way, you can just drive. Uh, the zombies don't even hear the bike down here. Especially if I have all my lights and everything off. They don't hear me at all, which is kind of cool. Um, wait, there's, oh, there you go. See, I also need to make a proper path of here, so I don't forget which side's which. We go through, yeah. See, this is the bare minimum that I did for, uh, for mining, because I could have easily went and made some, oh, now I need to turn this around. I could have easily went and made this higher stuff, but it would take so much longer, guys. Just doing this took so much time. The stone I was able to do with the auger. Um, I had to crouch not to make too much noise, but we did get zombies up top. And then, admittedly, guys, the zombies on top, I had to go, I uh, made, a, made a hole while I was digging, checked on top, and shot at them. I didn't want them digging down while I was making noise over here. But now, I want to show you guys what I mean by when going up this hill. Unfortunately, I think as soon as this is a little bit deeper, like there's more space for your head. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> if there's more space for your head over here, you'll be able to do this a lot easier, I think. But now I'm going to hit the wall. I'm going to go so slow. Look at this. This is still fine, 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 fine. And losing speed. See, this pr 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 over here, this is what I climbed the first one with. So if you don't build up speed, making it up this is insanely difficult. But I made this a little bit deeper over here. So if I have to climb off, I at least have a place to place my bike. But yeah, um, now I just need to... I don't know if I should make it to the other side. So like I said, there's a road going all the way to... Oh, 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 oh. Let me just climb off. This side, there's a road going all the way to the Caitlyn. So I don't know if I should still make a bunker. Uh, the nice thing about the bunker is zombies don't see you, you don't attract attention. But I'm going to have to dig past the big bunker. That's underground, so I'm going to wake up all the zombies there. Unless I go like this, and then go all the way down, and then join there. I want to show you guys what the mine looks like at the other Caitlyn. And what the process I went through to actually mine there, it was insane. See you guys there. It's actually a shame that after all the killing we've done here, we still haven't found a single... As you guys can see, while mining, the zombies did this. We don't have a single gyrocopter chassis yet. No, um, accessory yet. We have two chassis, but that's it. I keep getting confused between those two. But yeah, okay, let's just see what you have for us. Laser workbench, I think... Yeah, I already made a second one for myself. One for the base, one for the wood base. Uh, generic notes. No, thank you. Ammo. We do need to get ourselves quite a bit more ammo. Um, the nice thing is we can make, we do, we have so much, uh, what do you call it, gunpowder at the base. So we just need to make the casings and then voila. Okay, what else is over here? 
I think I'm wearing my night vision goggles. I don't know. Wait, did I have my night vision goggles on? I don't know if you guys were able to see or not. Good day. Okay, um, I'm just going to stick with this one. Keep you in a sell a ton of stuff. And we're going to buy a little bit of food and stuff over here. I need to start making myself some proper food again. Let's hopefully don't sell stuff that I really need right now. Because she doesn't want all of this stuff. We can just sell as much as possible. And come on. There you go. Nice. Wow, I got a nice amount of XP for that bunch just now. Okay, so food first. We're going to go and get ourselves can of stock, peas, pasta, baked potatoes, misu. All of this stuff, guys, we can use during cooking. I wonder if we can use snowberries and meats and stuff as well. I need to actually test, uh, test it out. I have boiled meat and stuff on me as well when cooking. Okay, nice. We needed this. We didn't have any of that ammo left, actually. Um, Nothing else under here. Ammo, more rockets. The more rockets we have, the better. I actually wasted quite a few. Especially when you're jumping during Horde Nights, it seems it goes through the world. That's a massive waste right there. Now, how much does this cost? 18,000 for a stack. I do need to start upgrading the floors and stuff, so... Wait, wait, do you have iron? What I really actually need right now is iron. Unfortunately, the wasteland doesn't have a ton of iron deposits. It only has those three main resources. And if you're lucky, every now and then you get some iron. Okay, this we're going to need. And this we're going to need. I'm going to make a farm soon as well. And resources, unfortunately, nothing that I need right now. That is so unfortunate. If we had some iron... Look, I could buy the steel, but it's really expensive. But I desperately need the iron, so it's a catch between two. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what I did over here. But yeah, as you guys can see over here, basically we had a ton of coal. A massive amount of coal over here. I'm going to see where I went with this again. Yeah, if you go down that shaft, I went all the way there because this is burnt biome. So I had to go all the way there to check for some titanium, but I did rows like that all the way to the bottom. And then this side, I decided, you know what, since we're not getting anything that side, let's just try and go... This way, past this massive building we did over here. And we actually got quite lucky with resources. We'll show you guys this quickly. So this is layer one. Now you go down. And this is layer two. I think there was another layer down, but at least this way, the zombies can't see or hear us. And this structure is massive. Um, but yeah, I, I wonder if we shouldn't take up your eye like that over. I think multiplayer game, that should be awesome. This went all the way that way. And I could have sworn there was another one. Yeah, this way. We had more mines over there. We dug out all the titanium. Remember, in the beginning over here, we're still very close to the burnt biome. So we dug out all the uh, titanium over here. We kept going. And then I hit more titanium on this side. But I think there's another row underneath this. It's so easy to get lost down here. You can see all the frames and stuff. So what I basically did was I prepared... Yeah, I need to go lay it down. Um, I prepared for the next horde. I dug around this because I hit uh, uranium and plutonium. I was like, where the hell's the titanium? So I just dug to the side of it through the stone to find it. And lo and behold, a ton of titanium. Now, as you guys saw how deep... I don't know how many of you guys saw that just now. There's an insane amount... Let me just quickly go through here. There's an insane amount of frames over here. Come on. It goes all the way down. This was even deeper. Now, that's how deep this mine goes. So technically, I still have a ton of titanium I could mine out over here. But for now, I think we have enough titanium. We have enough blocks. Um, I'm going to use a 407 to at least make the part the zombies can hit. And I'm going to be safe over there. And then from there, we need to just decide what we're going to do for the base. I have a picture in my head of what I want to do, guys. This time around, I'm not going to be messing around. We need to go up there. It's so easy to get stuck down here. But yeah, we're not going to be messing around. What I want to do this time is the zombie part where they stand by me is only going to be three or four blocks wide. Like, along from here to there, three or four blocks. It's going to be the centered pole trick. And it's only going to be one wide. So, Behemoth, sorry, you have to stay downstairs. If you want to come through, try and come through. And then there's going to be blades in the walls. Although, I don't know if we should actually have blades there or a little bit further away. Because if we have blades there, we're going to have to uh, go one on top. one on the... It's going to look really weird. It's going to have to go zigzag. Remember, the blades of two... Like, for example, say there's a blade trap there. There's blades here. There's a blade trap there. There's blades there. Now, there's one less block. You put a blade trap there, you can't put another one there because the blades will overlap. That's the only problem with making an even... Or uneven. Yeah, an uneven base. The even base is a lot easier to maintain. Because I'm just going to call the episode here. Yeah? Um, next episode, we might start building. I, I want to see if I can't just at least uh, place the foundation over here. 
Um, or base is there, or base. I'm gonna make another old base right next to this one. I'm gonna place the foundation right here. I'll make it reinforced concrete. And then while we wait for that to dry, we can actually go loot some POIs. So if you guys liked this episode, please like please like and share with your friends. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.